Hello students, I'm making this short little video to help you with um, determining where a gene is in a sequence of double-stranded DNA. Remember, we talked about this in class, and if you look for an A, T, G that is in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction of the DNA, that will be in the coding strand. What that means is that the other strand, the other complementary strand, is the actual template for transcription. Let's take an example. In this example, what I've drawn is a double-stranded a piece of DNA and what you should do is you should first look and see which way the, the DNA is going. So if you look here I have the 5 prime and the 3 prime on the top so 5 prime to 3 prime going in the direction to the right so if I look in the top strand for ATG what I'd usually do is I look and say A no A Oh, look, ATG. That means that I am going to have the top strand be the coding strand. That means that the bottom strand is the template strand. And when I say template, I mean it is the template for transcription. The transcription machinery and what is the transcription machinery? We need an RNA polymerase. And depending on whether we're talking about eukaryotic versus prokaryotic, the RNA polymerase in prokaryotes is the holoenzyme. Whoops. Spelling is hard. Okay, the holoenzyme. Oh. plus the, do you remember what it's called? The sigma factor. Or in eukaryotes, so this is pole, uh, pole? What am I talking about? This is eukaryotes versus prokaryotes. This is prokaryotes, and this is eukaryotes. And if we're making an mRNA, it's going to be RNA Paul 2 Okay, that being said, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so now if you go back to this and you say, okay, I need to do transcription of the bottom strand, right? So we just said that this is going to be our template strand. So if you do transcription, all right, and we make an RNA transcript from this, it's going to be in the reverse direction. Remember I told you, so it's way easier to just do this with T's than not. So I'm going to do it with T's. So it's T T T T A C T A T G C C G C G G T A A C G T. Right, and that's the five prime to three prime direction. Now, since it's an RNA, we know that we need to take out, okay, so we can't have T's. So instead, we're going to replace the T's with U's. Okay, so here's my next step. I'm just replacing the T's with the U. So it's U, U, A, C, U, A, U, G, C, C, G, C, G, G, U, A, A, C, G, U. Okay? If you can do it without, go ahead, but people mess it up every time. Okay, so now what are we talking about? We're talking about this is the DNA, so the, the, the strand here, the bottom strand here, has been made into a complementary, reverse complement RNA strand, and that RNA strand has the sequence in it to encode a string of amino acids, right? So AUG, 
CCG, CGG, UAA. Okay, so this is going to be an amino acid, an amino acid, an amino acid, and this is the stop codon. It's one of the three stop codons. Remember, I said it was TAG. <coughs> Bailey, stop. Sorry, that's Bailey, and she's talking. TAA or T TGA. So remember, if you place this with U, UA, UAA is a stop codon. So you would write your amino acid sequence, met, whatever this is, whatever this is. And that would be the amino acid sequence that would be transcribed, no, I'm sorry, that would be translated from your transcription product. Does that make sense? Okay. What if I were to give you, let's get a new slide, slide, what if I were to give you a sequence of an mRNA? So I gave you, in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, U, G, C, A, U, A, U, G, C, T, oops, sorry, can't use a T. Take that T back out. Okay. Remember, it's RNA, so this can't have any uh, T's. So C, U, G, U, A, A, G, C. Okay. Now, if I give you the RNA, right, if this is an mRNA sequence, once again, what you would do if I say, tell me what is the amino acid sequence, you search now. So here now, what you search for is, whoopsie, you search for a U, G in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Okay, so I go along here and I say, all right, here's an A, U, nope, that can't be it. Here's an A, U, G. All right, there's my first one. So I go A, U, G, C, U, G, U, A, A, and then there's nothing else, so I can't finish. So this gives me A, U, G is going to be methionine linked to whatever this is, which I don't know off the top of my head. And once again, here is the stop codon. So you would have just a two amino acid sequence here. That would be pretty easy to do, right? Now, what if I threw in one more thing? What if I said, okay, now tell me from this mRNA, what would be the DNA that it came from? Okay, so you would have to give me a double-strand piece of DNA. And, right, the easiest way to do this is to go, so this would be reverse transcribed. So if a U is the same as a T, right, so a U, so you would have an A, C, G, T, A, T, A, C, G, U is the same as T, so that's an A. C, U is the same as T, so that's an A. T, T, C, G. Remember, and this is reverse, so this is the 5 prime end, and this is the 3 prime end. And then you would give me the opposite strand, right, which is going to be easy to do. A T, G, C, A, T, a, T, G, C, T, G, T, A, A, G, C. Three prime. And once again, if you notice, if you look at the DNA and you look in the five prime to three prime direction, okay, let's look in the top strand here. So let's go from the top. Remember, if we're looking in the five prime to three prime direction, on the top, we're going that way. So this A, no. This A, no. This A, no. 
this A, a oh look we could have gone in that direction but there wasn't anything more to do okay so we really didn't have anything on the top strand to do but what about on this strand okay we go here A okay now we're going from the left to the right A T no here's our A T G here's our C T G here this remember if it has the A T G sequence in it, it is the coding strand and that means that the other strand the other strand is the template strand. Yes? I'm hoping I'm getting through. Okay, and then this is the strand that was used to transcribe this RNA. All right, I'm going to call it quits there because it's five minutes or almost five minutes, and I hope that helps you. Hope you had a good weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.